Hello everybody, Uber Lady Charlotte here and I am on the street. I'm not doing anything. I just had to um, go somewhere real quick. But I wanted to let you guys know I'm so sorry I haven't been making any videos, but I've been super, 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 super busy. And let me tell you what else. How about um, Thaddeus has gone on a two week vacation. I know, right? Two weeks. He brought me to the office. I don't like to really be in charge. Because sometimes people on the job, some of the people on the job, it's funny. They try to get me to sign off on stuff or do stuff that wouldn't otherwise be signed off on or, um, you know, wouldn't else would, wouldn't otherwise go down. So, some people <laughs> at the job try to get me to, to sign off on stuff. All right. So, anyway, I don't like to really be in charge. So, he, he calls me down to the office and, um. He's like, I want to, he's like, Kimberly. And I'm like, yeah, because my office is upstairs. He's like, can I see you in my office for a moment? I say, sure, okay. So I go in his office, and I'm eating my oodles and noodles. I pull up a chair toward his desk, and I put my noodles on his desk, and I'm eating them. And I say, I didn't do it. He said, I didn't say you did anything. I'm like, okay, so what are we talking about? Why are we talking so early in the morning? your office real clean too what is this about he said oh i just wanted to clean my office oh really you just wanted to clean it because normally i can't see the bottom of your desk but now i can see your desk real good i can almost see through your desk he's like oh, i'm just cleaning okay i said what's up he's like um and he's typing right he's typing he's typing an email i said your email mighty long what are you typing He's like, I'm just typing an email for everybody. I said, oh, okay. I said, but what's up, though? He said, he stopped typing. He turned to me. He said, I have something to tell you. I said, well, what is it? Because I'm thinking we're getting ready to, we're getting ready to bond. He's getting ready to tell me something, and, and I need to be sympathetic and stuff. I said, well, what is it, Daddy? He said, I will be out of the office today. I said, what? You didn't tell me you were going anywhere today. He's like, but I'm telling you now. I say, well, who who gonna be in charge? I mean, cause you got other coworkers you could put in charge. I said, do Pete know? That's the GM. He's such a sweet guy. Do he know you're not gonna be here? He said, yeah, he knows I'm not gonna be here today. I said, okay, all right. So I look at the calendar cause he keeps his calendars on his wall, his court. So I look at the calendar today. Okay, well that's that's Friday. Okay. Then I don't work on the weekends unless I really have to, but I don't really work on the weekends. So I'm like, okay, well, all right. Um, okay. He said, so you'll be in charge. Mm, no, 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 no. He said, you remember what Pete told you that when I'm not here, you're in charge. I'm thinking, okay, okay. I can play AGM for a day, a half a day. AGM, it's all right. So I said, okay, well, okay, well, go ahead and get you some time off and I'll see you on Monday. He said, no. I said, no what? He said, you really look at that calendar? So I turned to look at the calendar again. He's not coming back to work till December 27th. I thought I was gonna fall out the chair. He was like, no, just breathe, just breathe. So then I lose it a little bit and, oh gosh. And then he gives me the rundown of everything that's gonna happen in the next two weeks. Like I got a food drive tomorrow. I don't even know who's driving the bus. I sent him an email. He didn't answer the email yet. It's pretty early but that's okay the maintenance man i'm sorry the mechanic is showing me how to hook the tarp on the side of the bus i gotta take a step ladder i can't stand on the step ladder i'm the person to fall in a mud puddle if you go to a mud puddle and you look over and you see the, the sky moving the clouds moving in the mud puddle i'm the one that falls in the mud puddle because i get dizzy now i got this three step step ladder i gotta step on and hook this giant tarp to the side of the bus at 10 o'clock in the morning and I got to be there from 10 to 4 why I got to be there because I don't know who's driving the bus so I guess I have to drive the bus it doesn't matter I have to make it happen and I have to stand outside and collect food for the um, Christian ministry which I don't mind I don't mind doing that if that's what I got to do that's what I got to do I just got to make it all happen it's going to be okay it's going to be okay it is but two weeks though really two weeks you got to get all your vacation time at one time two weeks 
That's all right. Oh, I'm gonna get Uber Lady Mama to sit out there with me. She'll probably sit out there with me. Mm. She'll sit out there with me. She won't be coming at 10 in the morning, though. She won't do that. She she might come out there and sit an hour with me. That's, that's going to keep me coming. I'm going to get Mama to come. That's what I'll do. Yeah. Other than that, I put this, this hair in, and it does its own thing every day. Right now, I feel like I look like a, a bird. I look like a bird. I look like a baby bird. Hair all kind of ways, and... I've cut it. I've got lost in it because the, the curls and stuff flip and go a different way every time I cut it or trim it down. Then I try to look at the curl pattern and cut where the part laying down. This hair doing its own thing. I don't know. This part got a nice feather going. But then this part, it looked chopped up. Then maybe I have to chop this part up to give it the wild look. I don't know. I'm just lost in this hair. And it's kind of a nesting thing going on right there. It's a nesting thing. I don't know. I don't know, but I, I got compliments on it. I, maybe they think it's supposed to be the wild look. I, I don't know. I'm going to just rock with it. Then I'm thinking I'm going to just shave all that off. Shave all that down. And then make it short like that. Taper it. And then let that wildly part stick up like that. Maybe I do that. That may be what I... That don't look too... I don't know. I don't know. I'm lost in this hair. Anyway. So that's why I haven't been making videos. I've been super, super, super busy. And I just had a class. I just had a class. So I've been able to talk to you guys. Oh well, let's move on. Toya, I need you to call me. Toya ATL, I need you to call me. Um, somebody wants to wants to talk to you about a project. Terry, tips, um, call me, text me. Somebody wants to work with you about a pro with a project. And um, so call me. Oh no, you can't call me on that phone. Okay, send me, Facebook me. Y'all got me on Facebook. Facebook me. And then um, send me a message and I'll get back with you. I'll tell you the details. I'll give you the number. Because somebody reached out to me because they want to reach out to y'all. That's Toya, ATL, and Terry Tips. Um, Let's see what else we got going on. I'm at a store. I'm going to go in here and get me, get me some turkey sausage. I don't like sausage. But this is like some smoked turkey sausage something. It don't really taste, it don't really taste sausagey. I don't, I don't think I like sage. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get that. Make some grits. I would like eggs, but I have since developed an egg allergy. I can't eat scrambled egg by itself. I can put it in something, but I can't eat it by itself. Make me sick. Make me heave. You know, the dry heave. When you, when you do that, make me heave. So, I can't, can't, can't do that. Mm, I am going to get out here and do some Uber today. I just got to find my motivation. It's cold. Oh, it's cold. I'm getting ready, thinking about cold. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell you what happened last night to me. Let me tell you what happened. All right, so I leave my house. It's cold. I just got a shower. I leave my house, go down to the job. Remember, I live four minutes from the job, four or five minutes. I go to the job to drop off some paperwork for a new trainee in a mechanic shop. All right, got my music blaring, Bodak Yellow blaring. I'm feeling gangster. I'm feeling thugged out, feeling like a stripper. You know, I open the door real quick, and I jump out. I jump out fast. Well, my definition of fast, because it's cold. And I just took a shower, and it's cold. So, I shut the door. Well, the door shut on its own. And I'm kind of brisk. I'm briskly walking into the building. But across my knuckles on my left hand, my knuckles kind of hurt a little bit. I'm like, what the hell? Why my knuckles hurt? So, I go in. I drop the paperwork off. Mind you, I'm blocking the bay doors to where the buses need to be parked, because they're getting ready to be probed and washed. So I'm block blocking the, the, the doors because I'm pulled all the way up in the job. I come back out and I pull the door handle. The door is locked. My car is running. The door is locked. My cell phone is on the front seat. Bodak Yellow is still playing. I'm blocking up everything. I'm blocking up the whole operation. Can't nobody move a bus. Can't nobody do nothing. I can't call Progressive because... The number on my phone. I don't know the roadside service number by heart. So, I think, let me run upstairs in my office, get on the computer, and get the number for customer service and call them. Can't do that because I locked my door. I locked my door to my office because I'm trying to keep people from taking my safety vest. So, and on top of that, my laptop is at the house. Yes, it is. 
Can't go back to the house because my keys are in the car, in the ignition. Now, ooh, lady mama, she got a copy of my house key and my car key. But now I got to figure out how to get over there. Worst case scenario, you know, I would have gotten over there, believe me. But one of the supervisors, she said, what happened? You know, you always got somebody to come out from, they just fall out the sky. And they just pop up at the worst times. What happened? So I tell her what happened. Why you lock your keys in the car? I didn't do it on purpose. And that pain I told you I felt across my knuckles. When I got out the car and I flung my body out the car, my knuckles hit the lock. It's a manual lock on the side by the lever you pull out. And it shut it. That's why my knuckles were sore. She takes me all the way to my mama's house. She waiting outside. My car blocking up the whole works. The, the operations don't stop. This at the end of the night. They getting ready to, like I said, clean the buses and all that. I'm telling Uber Lady and Mama what happened. One, I'm scared to knock on the door because she don't have company. So I'm scared to knock on the door. I'm thinking she's going to come to the door like uh, Clint Eastwood. I'm scared. All right, so I knock on the door and I hide to the side, you know, on the edge of the frame because I don't want her to, you know, shoot first and then be asking questions later. She ain't coming to the door because she know I got a house key. Well, I can't use the house key. So I'm knocking on the door. I don't want to knock too hard because I don't want to startle her. And she's not in the living room, got a living room door. So I'm like, oh, God, I got to walk over here on the side of the apartment and knock on the window. This is how it's going to be. I'm going to fall dead between the two air conditioners, between the two HVAC systems. I'm going to fall dead between them because she's going she gonna to light this window up. So I go over to the window, and I'm tapping softly. Ma, Ma, now I hear a horn blowing. And now I'm scared because I'm up in the dark between two people's bedroom's window, and I'm trying to knock on the window softly. So then I start knocking the beat, do, 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 so she'll know it's a friendly knock, do, 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 because I don't want the bullets to ring out. Then I hear this horn keep blowing. Beep, 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 beep. It was just too much happening, plus I'm scared, because spiders are over there, I'm sure. I'm sure there's some creatures living in between these little bushes and the little tree, and all I could think was about the, um, I don't know if y'all got these where you live, them writing spiders. Them big giant writing spiders with the yellow and black markings and they and they put the ziggity zags in the web. They like they like to come out during this time of year. Oh, I was so afraid. I was just so afraid I was gonna get one in my hair or on my face. It was just terrible. I was really freaking out. So then I come back out from the side and my my supervisor said, Your mom at the front door. So I go to the front door, but the door shut. She done shut the door back. I'm like, dang. So now I'm knocking on the door again, but I'm on the side of the, the door frame because I don't want to get shot. So she finally, she said, who is it? And I say, it's me, Ma. It's Ma. Ma is me. She on the door. She said, what's wrong with you? I said, Ma, I locked my keys in my car. And, and I need to know if you still had that extra key to my car. She starts laughing. Mind you, I do have my key. I do have my key. Now, how much y'all think it costs to get this made? It don't have no chip on it, so it should be like, y'all tell me what you think. Cause I need another, I need another key made so I can keep it at the job, in my friend girl locker. But anyway, um, so she laughing. I'm like, Ma, I can you please have my key because how'd you do it? Well, okay, yeah, okay. This is what happened. This is what happened. I'm a knuckle sore, and then it happened and all that. She's like, Well, oh, well, let me see. So she digging through her stuff, and I'm like, Ma, can you please? I don't want to rush you, but can you please hurry? I'm a car running. I got the whole operation shut down, and I'm in the way. And this young lady getting ready to get off work. And she already talking about she's going to sign the book for overtime. And then I got to explain that to Thaddeus. Why she got overtime helping me do something. And I said, Ma, she talking about, I'm looking. and But you got manual locks. How did that happen? She digging. But she asking a bunch of embarrassing questions. Well, dang, first you lock yourself out your house. Now you can lock yourself out the car. She said, you just need to slow down. Yeah, I know, Ma. I know, Ma. I know, I know, I know. I need to do all those things, Ma. I know, I know, I know. Help me. Help me. Help myself, Ma. Help me. Finally, she give me a key, and I get ready to go running out the door. Then I look. Oh, Ma, this ain't my car keys. To my oh. And then, good thing I didn't get back to the job. And then I give her them keys back, and she go digging down this little this little purse again by this bead. She got like 400 papers down in this little purse, this bead. She finally gave me my car key. I look at it. It's got my tag on it for my car. Get on back down to the job. <sighs> It was a doozy. I was so glad to get back in my house. I was so glad. I had to stop and store get me a margarita. I was just so glad to get back. So anyway, that's what happened to me last night. All right, let me get in here and get this turkey sausage that don't taste like sausage. Thank goodness it don't. 
get on back into the house, fry it on hard. That's what my grandma used to say. Fry mine on hard. That's funny. It's a long turkey kielbasa sausage that got the loop in it like that, and I'm gonna fry it on hard. <clears throat> anyway, I'm gonna go. Bye.